So with the holidays upon us, my friends, it is beginning to look like another season. Flu season. Oh, that's great. So while no one can predict the severity of this year, taking steps to protect yourself and your loved ones is key to avoiding and minimizing flu symptoms. Dr. Barbara Elsey from St. Luke's Urgent Care Center joins us this morning, the Urgent Care Center out there in Ladue. She's with us today to talk about taking preventive measures to protect yourself against the flu. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you, Matt. Can't believe it's time to talk flu season already. And question number one, is it too late to get a flu shot? Have we missed the boat? No, not at all. The, the flu season extends well into the spring, but just keep in mind that it takes it roughly two weeks from the time you get the flu vaccine for it to really be fully effective. This is why there's so much push to get it in early, early, early. In, the, in the late fall to early winter season. Exactly. So let's say we come down with something and we start to get nervous. Is this the full blown flu? What are the real symptoms of actual flu? Well, keep in mind that flu or influenza is actually a respiratory virus. So mm -hmm. you, you would have respiratory symptoms, first of all, sore throat, runny nose, uh, usually a cough of some sort. Uh, but the flu, you have a little more than more severe symptoms than you have with just an ordinary cold. Generally, there's fevers, some of them very high. Um, usually it comes on very quickly. You're mm -hmm. fine one minute and then the next minute you feel like you're going to die. Uh, <laughs> uh, you have body aches um, and, and just a general feeling of being unwell. And there could be some very serious complications if left untreated or if you don't get ample rest and that sort of thing, right? Yes, that's correct. The, uh, the influenza virus um, can, in certain cases, go on to uh, uh, cause pneumonia. Mm -hmm. uh, in children, we see ear infections as a complication, uh, but can also cause very serious complications, particularly in the elderly, the very young, uh, people whose immune systems are depressed or who have chronic disease. We can see meningitis, we can see uh, myocarditis, uh, we, uh, which is an inflammation of the heart. Uh, we can see muscle inflammation, mm. uh, sepsis, which is uh, um, uh, infection of the blood, of basically. Infection of the yeah. bloodstream. Uh, let's, so let's talk about what we could do to treat it and maybe even more importantly, prevent it. Just never get it in the first yes, place. Yes, yes. Uh, well, there are four uh, FDA-approved uh, drugs out now to treat mm -hmm. the flu, and um, they can be tailored. Uh, one is inhaled, one is IV, but the, the other two are taken orally. Um, so there are four treatments out for the flu, but the best thing to do is, as you mentioned, is to prevent it. And so being vaccinated against the flu is mm -hmm. by far the easiest and most uh, effective way to keep from getting the flu. Sure. And if we can prevent it in the first place, well, we're that much ahead of the game. But still, regardless, get the flu shot. There's only so much that's under your control. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, we Matt. appreciate it. For more information on the flu or where you can get a flu shot, and yeah, they're still out there, you can visit stlukes-stl.com slash urgent care. stlukesstl.com slash urgent care. Or visit one of St. Luke's eight urgent care centers or convenient care in the greater St. Louis area. Thank Lauren you very Kent. much, you too.